Hi friends, today we're going to be talking about all things vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is a perfect example of the statement, you are what you absorb, not what you eat. Let's dive in to find out more. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin, meaning we must consume it on a daily basis. The best sources of vitamin B12 include eggs, poultry, dairy, meat, fish, and shellfish. Basically, any animal or animal byproduct will contain some level of vitamin B12. For this reason, it's imperative that anyone following a 100% plant-based diet supplements with vitamin B12. The elderly population are also prone to vitamin B12 deficiency due to lower production of stomach acid and a protein called intrinsic factor that is required for B12 absorption. Similarly, if you're taking any medication that would lower the amount of stomach acid production, such as metformin or a proton pump inhibitor, um, such as Prevacid or Nexium, you also may want to consider a vitamin B12 supplement. In either cases, if you're going to be taking a vitamin B12 supplement, I would choose either a sublingual or spray form, and the reason being is that this will bypass the digestive tract and can go straight into your bloodstream, so you don't have to worry about the lower production of stomach acid or diminished amount of intrinsic factor that's produced by the body. The other option is taking a B12 injection shot, but that will require you to visit a health professional regularly. Having low levels of vitamin B12 can be quite problematic due to its many functional roles within the body, including red blood cell production, nerve function, energy metabolism, and DNA production. Vitamin B12 is essential in preventing something called megoblastic anemia, where red blood cells are normally large and underproduced. Symptoms of B12 deficiency include pale skin, weakness, muscle fatigue, memory loss, feelings of pins and needles, along with mouth ulcers and instability or loss of balance. The recommended daily allowance for both men and women for vitamin B12 is 2.4 micrograms. This would look something like 100 grams of yogurt for breakfast, a baby bell for snack, and then three ounces of cooked fish for dinner. Now, this is assuming that we absorb all the B12 found in these foods but in most cases, if we have lower than ideal production of stomach acid or intrinsic factor, we won't be absorbing 100% of the B12 found in these foods. So it's always safer to eat a little bit more of foods containing vitamin B12, or again, if you fear that you have lower than ideal levels of stomach acid, you may want to consider a daily supplementation of B12. Bottom line, if you're a 100% plant-based eater, or you are over the age of 50, or taking any medications such as metformin or a proton pump inhibitor, then you may want to consider taking a B12 supplement. I hope you found this information useful. 